Um, DCMikeTV.com right here with Undefeated. The Pretty Beast, Ray Kill Miller. Ray Kill, how you doing today? I'm good. I can't complain. Thank you, Mike, for having me. I'm excited to be with you. No problem, no problem. Now, I'm on the East Coast, Washington, D.C. You're on the West Coast, California. Now, first off, how's the weather out there in California? It's beautiful. <laughs> okay. I just came from a workout, and it's beautiful outside. It's probably like around 80 or so. Oh wow! I'm in sunny. I'm in sunny San Diego, so it's beautiful out here. Okay, yeah, it's about it's about, it's about eighty degrees here as well. Okay. Yeah, it's about seventy. Right. Yep, yep. So, um, first off, let's start. Um, you have a magazine spread. Can you talk about your magazine spread? I uh, read a little bit on it. You talked about, you know, as to why you signed with Lou DeBella and not Salida Promotions. Uh, can you talk a little bit about your magazine spread? Um, yes. Yeah. So, you know, um, I got with my PR team, you know, of course, Beautiful Wendy is my PR, and we just wanted to kind of touch some base on some stuff that people might not have known about who Raquel Miller is, you know, about me and the signing situation, why I chose to develop over to lead a promotion, you know, some of the rivalries that I got going on, so, so to speak, in boxing, who am I outside of boxing, um, you know, my nonprofit organization, and where I see myself in the next few years, you know, what's the plan in regards to going for a title and, you know, stepping up in competition. So, you know, I just wanted to give her the exclusive on, you know, who is Raquel Miller and let the fans know. Right, right. Now, you have a couple rivals, like you said. Um, I caught a glimpse of you, and um, it was yourself, uh, Franchon Cruz, and Clarissa Shields. You were in D.C. at Tears I Fight about a year ago. You guys all got yeah. in the ring. Uh, those are your two rivals. Um... Both of those girls have the belt. I think Clarissa has um, the WBC and uh, uh, she, I think it's a WBC and she has another belt. I can't remember off the top of my head. Franchon Cruz just won the, uh, the, uh, the, the regular WBC 168, if I'm not mistaken. Um, what do you think of those uh, two girls and how soon would you like to, you know, get it on with them? Um, well... Truthfully, I just feel like that's it's boxing. It's going to happen. I don't know exactly when. Um, Franchine and I are actually really good friends. Mm -hmm. You know, so eventually we don't have a rivalry going on amongst us, but there's other girls in the mm -hmm. division who I do have, you know, rivalry, so to speak, with. Mm -hmm. And, you know, since the day we're all boxers. And with Franchine, you know, when they put that money on the table and, if you know what I'm saying, if that's what it, what it is, then we're going to go forward and handle business and then, you know, shake them up after and move on with our lives and make the best woman win that night. Um, as far as Clarissa, I'm looking forward to getting that on, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, she, she higher on my, uh, my to-do list. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. We've been working with my team. We don't know exactly what the date is, but, you know, pretty much within the next fight or two, I'm going to be going for a title, and, you know, I'm going to be looking to unify or looking, you know what I'm saying, looking to make it happen. So that's definitely going to be in the making really soon. Mm -hmm. So Clarissa has a couple belts, like I said, but Franchon has one. Uh, what makes uh, Clarissa be on the top of your list before Franchon? Um, to be truthful, we just we don't like each other, obviously. And, um, you know, we've had this thing going on since the Olympics. Um, and I'm just here to set the record straight. It's mm -hmm. like it's time. It's about to be a new sheriff in time, Mike. And, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, I'm looking to go handle my business. And mm -hmm. I just feel like there's been a whole bunch of back and forth, a whole bunch of talking. And I'm looking forward to walking the walk. Mm. and going out there and doing my thing. So I'm not really worried about anybody, but I'm going to get my title, and then I'm going to be like, okay, I'm here now. What's up? Absolutely. You know? <laughs> I want my money, and I want my title. So, <laughs> but, it, but I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I'm looking for all opportunities. Um, like I said, Brent and I are good friends, you know what I'm saying, and 168, I'm not looking to fight in that weight class right now. You know, my white weight classes that I will be competing right now is 16. We possibly might go down to 58. The lowest I fought, so right now, it's going to catch with it down 56. Mm. So, um, more than likely, I'll go either at 54 or 60, you know what I'm saying, a lot, and then eventually probably 68. Um, but it's a whole bunch of women in my division or within my weight that I'm actually, you know what I'm saying, I and Chrissy the Hammers in my division. The Mar Marticelo Cornejo, you know, she and I have had some issues as well. Mm. You know, we got to a pay with a girl, forget her name, like, um, I'm blank right now, but LaTondra. Yeah, LaTondra you know, Jones. You know, around, you know, so it's a lot of women, and we're pretty much just looking to elevate the sport, mm. make some exciting fights, you know, let people know who we are inside and outside of the ring, and I'm just here to handle my business and, you know, to promote, push the sport forward, basically. Mm. 
You said you don't like Clarissa too much. You guys seem uh, pretty uh, cordial. You guys were smiling about a year ago in D.C. Um, is it more so you don't like her personally, or is it more so like you guys are competitive and you want to win? Um, well, you know, for some of the fans that are listening, um, I'm a 2012 Olympic alternate. So I actually went to the London Games. Um, I mean, she, you know, she and I were teammates or whatever. Um, and, you know, because it's always been, you know, and I'm not really here to really waste my time on that situation, so to speak. This is about Raquel. You know what I'm saying? So she ain't really going to take up too much of my time. Okay. But it just seems like, you know, unfortunately, you got women that's in the sport that should be pushing us forward. And, you know, because it's always hating and, and backbiting. And it's like, what's the point? Right. If you're the top dog in the sport, I should be eyeing your spot. I should be worried about you instead of you constantly worried about us or me or you know what I'm saying, women that ain't even in your position and you steady hating. You know what I'm saying, what's the point? Right. You're supposed to be the one that we hate on or we worry about, but I ain't got to hate on nobody because, like, I'm going to shine regardless. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, it's already in the making. All right. I'm going to do is keep on manifesting and pushing. But I'm just not about tearing women down. I'm right. not about that, especially in the sport where we don't get enough shine. Right. We don't get the recognition. We don't get the pay. So right. what's the point? Why are you always angry and mad and hating on some other women trying to do their thing too? Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? We, we need each other all the time. Right, right. How do you think women's... I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, no. Okay, so that, that's what I'm saying about that. Okay. How do you think women's boxing is going? What direction do you think women's boxing? Is it going in a good direction? Or I absolutely think it's in a good direction. I think that it's in good hands right now. This has been the first time in years that we're actually getting some recognition that we're you know, headlining sharp and headlining cards. Um, being signed by major promotional companies, mm -hmm. being able to be on big undercards. So I think that it's in good hands right now. And if, and if I have it my way and, it's, and other women as well, we would like to be able to think of ourselves as boxers and not just female boxers and get to the point like the UFC. It's not about, oh, it's a female fight. We boxers and we came to box mm -hmm. and let it shine and stop putting the gender on it. Just look at the skill. Look mm. at the wheel, you know what I'm saying, and just pay attention to us as athletes and not just, oh, these are female athletes and this is male athletes. And I think it just causes too much division. I train just like the fellas. They train just like me. Mm. It ain't easy in this sport for nobody. Mm. You see, you train just like the fellas. Um, um, do you do you spar with guys? And if, if so, who have you sparred with? Um, I think that all the girls only spar with guys for the most part because there's not that many women in the sport. Right. And so, you know, I scored all of the team. I scored all my teammates, you know, we're all professionals. I'm like, I young fans. I'm one of my little brothers, Canton Miller. He's up and coming, you know, Joe Perez. You know, we got guys in our team that we out here putting in the work, you know, and we're just excited to go. Mm -hmm. Keep on pushing.